Yeah, an agreement, a sponsorship, a partnership. I feel like they all kind of mean the same thing. And it's actually almost been a year since the first time that they contacted me. They contacted me when I was at SEC Indoors last year. And it was so weird because I was like, I want to be on a commercial. I want to do this. I want to do that. Like I said, something like that. Like I said, the things that I just be speaking just come to pass. Like, that's why you got to be careful what you say out your mouth because God going to give you what you ask for. Like, and I'm real careful and cautious about the things that I ask for. The things that I said have never happened to me because, you know, it, it's going to come. That's why I keep my mouth real closed in situations. And I speak life over myself because, like I said, it just be happening. But anyways, um, they emailed me and it said, like, it was like, uh, a regular, like, email, like, hey, like, we want to get on a call. And it said that it was from Gymshark. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like, mom, I don't know. I didn't know what they were offering. I didn't know what, like, I didn't know anything. I just seen that they wanted to get on a call with me. I was just like, hey, like, Gymshark is a big brand. Like, I'm ready to talk to them. What are they talking about? Darcy was in the room, too, um, crazy to say. And we just got on a call. They introduced who they were. They introduced, like, what, like, the goal was that they that they seen me doing within their company. And we just talked over the course of March, like, the, over the course of, like, two months to truly understand and negotiate and get the price that I was, I wanted to get paid for all the posts and everything that I was going to be doing within the contract. Um, so it was like a lot of communicating with attorneys and cause like, you know, when, especially signing like a year long, cause I'm signed with Gymshark for a whole entire year. Um, so I signed with them in May, right before I went to USA's. So of course, I guess a lot of, um, negotiation back and forth, wanting this to be changed, wanting that to be changed, different things like that. So like I said, after two months of negotiating all that, um, I ended up signing with them and it's pretty much just like. They're, like I'm on their roster, but they also get to say that Messiah Russell is a part of our team, too. They signed three major NIL athletes. It's me, um, Jordan Child. She was like an Olympic silver medalist in the gym, um, as a gymnast. She goes to UCLA. And then Jada Williams, she's, um, she's, a, she's about to be a rising uh, freshman at Arizona State um, University. And she plays basketball. So I was like one of three nil athletes that they picked and i was like wow like out of all the athletes that is that are in the ncaa like they picked me um because I, at one point i was really nervous about signing with them just because like i said it was a year-long partnership like i'm not able to wear like nike unless it's kentucky gear like the only time i'm able to wear i'm, I'm able to wear like nike is when i'm traveling with kentucky i'm wearing like a UK logo, but other than that, like I cannot wear. It's just like I'm, I'm a like a sponsored professional athlete. So I was like, what if I'm not able to do this? What if I'm not able to post what I need to post because I'm traveling? Like I didn't want it to just be too much. And I'm just like, God is not gonna put this opportunity in your face and in your way if you're not ready for it. And is the biggest and honestly the best partnership that I probably ever signed just because they're so family oriented. They truly care about you as a person. Like if I just, I mean, I've never had this issue where I like, I've come short on like the certain posts that I have to post for the month. But just to say, if I'm like, yo, I'm really stressed. Like, is it okay if I just post three times next month instead of two just to make it up? But right now I'm just not in a good mental space. Like they will be a hundred percent down with what I'm saying. Like they truly care about you as the person. And it's a really, really young team, which I also like, like the owner or the CEO of the company, he's like 31 years old or 30. And all the um, all the reps that like work with each athlete are like literally no older than like 25, 26 years old. So it's like the people who, who are in charge of me, they're like real cool. They're like, hey, you want to do this? You want to do that? You want to you wanna go here? You want to go here? Just send me this. Like it's so lackadaisical, but it's like, of course, as long as you, you're handling your business and doing what you got to do, like, Everything is just cool, clean cut, and it's just a vibe. Honestly, I love being with Gymshark. Like I said, they treat me so good. They literally bought me flowers when I broke the collegiate record. They sent me like a little bouquet with a with a nice note. They bought me a birthday cake with a little Gymshark logo. They congratulated me um, at USA's like when I made the final and did really well there. And then um, they also uh, they sponsor their athletes. Like if I want to set up a camp or if I want them to send me some extra clothes to do for my giveaway when I just hit 30K, like they're all about helping and supporting their athletes, which is exactly why like I love being a part of a brand and a team that like, like I said, cares about you 
more than just of who you are. Of course, you got to handle the business because that's what you signed the contract for. But it's like a two-way partnership. It's not like, it's not a symbiotic, they, what is it, a symbiotic relationship? I, wait, what's the one where it's mm -hmm. one-sided? Yeah, one -sided well, uh, uh, I don't know the one that's one-sided. I just know the other one is yeah. sim. Yeah. sim it's, it's a symbiotic <laughs> relationship. I yeah. think that that's right. But I don't know the one-sided one. It's not one-sided. It's very much um, a two-sided and symbiotic relationship. I got you. I got you. I, I was trying to find it. I was trying to do my Googles and try to find a, uh, find a definition of a one-sided relationship. <laughs> But I what couldn't. What did they say? They I, I I couldn't I couldn't find it. I was trying. My my my, my Twitter fingers ain't as good as they used to be. I couldn't find it. I couldn't <laughs> find it. But yeah, I think that's uh, I I think that's really dope. And I think um j just from hearing you share that and knowing that you know the student athletes that hear this episode, they might be like, well, how could I get my first sponsorship, my first deal? I think just sh you sharing what you shared. I think uh, one of the biggest pieces I extracted from what you shared is the fact of like partnering with brands that really align with you as you know as, in terms of like your mission and your focus but also making sure that you know ma making sure that you on the same page because you just said you said y'all was negotiating for two months and that's not no you know that, that's that's not a short period of time well i mean right. depending but i mean just to yeah. make sure just to make sure that you know everything makes sense for you and for them so yeah 